Welcome to another build video. Today we will try to make the Torex 660 a little bit more battle ready for the summer's off-road season. Outback Motortech was kind enough to send me these cards, so this is a sponsored video. On the screen you can see the weight of these parts. They're very light considering they are full protection for the Torex 660. I hate long intros, the same as the next guy. So let's get into the installation of these cards. The installation itself is easier to start by removing all these stock parts from the bike. Stock parts that I remove here weigh in total of 1.5 kilos. So basically we are only gaining a little bit less than 6.2 kilos on the bike. Because these are engine mounts, you shouldn't loosen them from both sides at the same time. So install the other side and then go to the next side. Here I actually noticed that Outback Motortech sent me the wrong size bolts for the right side of the bike. The rear bolt on this side of the engine cannot take a 50 millimeter bolt, even though you install the crash bars in between that. So the bolt needs to be 40 millimeters, but because they sent me the wrong bolt, I ended up using the OEM bolt for a moment and then replacing it later. With the longer front bolts, you need to use the 20 mm spacers that are provided with the kit. Before you go loosen up the other side, please have at least one of these bolts all the way tight. You don't want the engine to start hanging because you have all the bolts loose in the engine mounts. Please notice that there's a spacer behind here, so you don't want to drop that or lose that or forget to put it back if it drops out. Remember to use the provided short spacer on the left side of the rear mount. And the 50mm bolt on this side is fine. Because the other side is now tightened up, I'm gonna leave this side a little bit loose, so I have some, some room to play with. The center bar connecting the two sides together is attached to the frame in some existing threads on the frame. These provided smaller nuts and bolts keep the two sides together. If you also bought the skid plate, you need to loosen the front bolt and install the skid plate mount underneath that bolt. I forgot to do that in the first run, but we're doing it here. After you get everything installed, just check quickly that everything looks straight and nothing is crooked in any way. If something is not straight, you're missing a spacer or something is wrong. To install the rear bracket for the skid plate, you need to utilize these mounting points that are already in the frame. The stock bolts are too short, so you need to change the provided bolts to replace the stock ones. After installing all the four brackets, we just need these eight bolts and nuts to install the skid plate to the bike. Before you tighten up all the bolts and nuts, check the tolerances that your exhaust is not touching the skid plate or have any other problems with the installation. Just double check and triple check that every bolt is attached properly. And remember to use the actual recommended Torx for the upper bolts that attach to the engine block. It is aluminium, so you don't want to overdo that. All right, the build is starting to be pretty much done. So let's move to a little bit more beautiful surroundings and uh, see if we can have some kind of a conclusion about this setup.
Overall the installation of this set was very easy and straightforward. I also think this set is pretty much one of the best looking sets available for the Torx 660. But if you don't for some reason like the white color ones, you can also buy these in black. Black ones probably look better on the yellow bike and on the red bike, but on this blue and red color combo I think the white ones look awesome. What I also like about this set is that they really thought about the little details like protecting the water pump on the left side of the bike. This mounting bracket protects that water pump perfectly. I think we need to give huge props to Outback Motortech people for giving us videos of them testing these crash bars. Here's a quick clip from their YouTube channel of them testing the Torx 660 and these crash bars. After seeing a dozen of these crash videos that they post, I am pretty confident that these crash bars are enough for my use. And if you want to see the full video, I'll link it down below and check their channel out as well because they post a lot of different bikes and tests and all kinds of crazy stuff. Huge thanks for watching this video all the way to the end and I hope you subscribe to the channel and uh, see you on the next videos.